Hi, welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. Today I want to talk about different wire types and what some of those numbers mean that are on the wire. Maybe you know you need a certain gauge wire, let's say 14 gauge. You go to the store, one says 14.2, one says 14.3. What's the difference? Well, if you look inside the jacket of a 14.2 wire, you will see a black wire, a white wire, and a bare copper wire. That's your hot, neutral, and ground wire. That's everything you need to run a safe grounded circuit. If you look inside the jacket of a 14.3 wire, there are all those wires plus a red wire. That extra wire can be used in different ways. If you want to turn lights on from different locations, you need to run 14.3 wire because you need traveler wires. You can also use 14.3 wire if you are installing multi-branch circuits, meaning you are using the black wire for phase A and the red wire for phase B, and you are sharing the neutral wire. All Romex wire can be bought in two or three wire. If you are installing a 240 volt circuit that needs a neutral, like a dryer, you need two hots, a neutral, and a ground. In this case, you would buy three wire. The black and red act as your hots, the white as your neutral, and the bare wire as your ground. You can also buy single strand wire if you are running wire through conduit. The most typical is THHN. You will have to make sure you size the conduit correctly so that you can fit all the circuits you plan on running inside the conduit. If you are doing an outdoor project, you want to use UF cable. This type of cable you directly bury in the ground. If you are trying to run Romex or THHN underground, you can cause a major safety hazard. If you are installing a conduit in the ground, you do not have to use UF cable. You may use THWN-2. The W stands for waterproof. Check out our videos on box fill and amperage rating to make sure you get the right size wire.